is Pug Life here, and you're watching today's video. So today, guys, I'm going to teach you guys how to properly take care of your community tank and what all to get for a community tank. So step one, you're going to want, if you want, like, smaller fish, you're definitely going to want mollies. I would highly recommend them. Like, highly, highly for a community tank. Then I would recommend guppies. Just like these, I would recommend them. Now, I would not recommend goldfish, even though I have some goldfish in here. They're just kind of like stuff that I'm specially keeping. I wouldn't really recommend them. But I would recommend if you want like one big fish in with your little fish that ain't gonna murder your little fish, I would buy an angelfish. I mean, they're like a perfect, perfect for these types of tanks. I mean, just like, they're what you need if you want a big fish that ain't gonna hurt your little fish. So yeah. All right, so tip number two. Make sure that you have enough plants for your fish or whatever to hide in. Because if say you put an angelfish in with some guppies or something, and the angelfish just decides to be mean, the guppies will have nowhere to go. And they're so much smaller, an angelfish could kill one if they wanted to. So, you want to make sure you have plenty of room for your fish to hide, else it could be bad. In this tank here, I really don't have enough room for the place for them to hide, but I check up on my fish every single day, I watch, so I have enough for what I am doing, per se. Tip number four, since you're going to have such a big tank with so many fish, you're going to want one to two placos. Right now, I do not have any Placos in this tank. Recently, my older Placo passed away. So, I have zero right now. I am soon to buy some. Probably when the next video comes up. You guys will be seeing, I'll be getting a new surprise animal. So yeah, that there, there's a hint. All I'll tell you guys is it starts with a B. That's the first deal in its name. And then the last deal in its name, like, the next sentence in his name is a G. So if you guys can guess there, you guys can guess there. Right as I was filming this video, I just found out something really bad. I said, even though you're not meant to have goldfish in one of these tanks, I watch it enough. Clearly it don't. These goldfish have been killing some of my fish. I've had two, I've had one guppy die, and then this other one was acting really hurt and has a red spot on the side of it. But she ain't think they've been attacking them. So I'm going to try and transfer them out of the tank. This just blew this whole video into a whole other proportion. So it'll be me moving goldfish. Now. Okay. So guys, this tank was a hermit crab tank. All my hermit crabs died. So I got to get the hermit crab stuff straight out. And then fill it full of water. Put the goldfish in. And then boom, we'll be done. This old beta tank. I'm just going to fill the old stub straight up with that. Do that. Mmm, this was not planned. The only reason those goldfish was in there is because I that tank used to be a goldfish tank, if you guys remember seeing that. And those two, one was really hard to catch the other one I really liked. I was like, oh, I'll leave them in there, it'll be okay. It, it's not. Guess this here is just part of fish keeping, guys. You never know when something crazy is going to happen. I'm really hoping that guppy stays okay. I don't know, though. Guppy looks like it ain't doing it. Like it ain't doing it, but... Will it make it? 
That's as much as that I'm gonna get out because well, yeah now I'm gonna go get pitchers of water now I'm gonna go get pitchers of water fill the tanks the rest of the way up and then all done <laughs> so guys I moved the goldfish into the surprise animals tank, so I ain't gonna show you all that process and everything. So yeah, um, I uh, don't really know where to take back off from. That kind of just exploded, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video now, guys. Catch you all in the next one. This has been Pug Life. I'll see you all in the next one.